Welcome back, everybody, to another Divi Project Update for November 17th, 2022. It's an amazing Thursday today because we got the interview with Girl Gone Crypto and the Divi Wallet. Woo, I know. I can't believe it's been a month since that match and since she was down there. But yeah, she got to sit down with the Divi Wallet team at the La Liga headquarters to chat all about their partnership, the future of crypto and sports, the importance of non-custodial options, the Divi roadmap, and more. Jump on in, guys. That's right. So I'll leave a link in the description box for you as well so you can watch it. It's, I believe, 14 minutes long and so much information in there. Her talking with Renew, her talking with Nick. They talked about things that can happen in the World Cup. They talked about the NFP 2.0 program, the Loyalty 2.0 program, the patents Divi has, where it started, and how La Liga got along. So it was just a great interview. And man, for those people saying that this went nowhere, <laughs> oh, egg on your face am i right because they're like if you ever browse the discord channel people would be like saying like oh that girl gone crypto we didn't get anything from her waste of money but <laughs> guys this was not like the whole point is like we're sharing our community with her community and now they get to learn about divi wallet and she got to experience the league of partnership so this was a great deal but everyone was super stoked on it I'm down there saying, great interview, Girl Gone Crypto. Ryan Burke, love it, and thank you, Leigh, for the great video. Uh, he was also going, like, this is great. Mochi Pat, NFT 2.0, Loyalty 2.0, and more. Watch this interview, guys. So, yes, it's in the description box below. David Scott, even in there, great interview with Girl Gone Crypto and the Divi team about La Liga partnership. So, guys, watch this video. <laughs> so, yeah, it was really great. I'm glad we got it. And I look forward to the future activations and partners we will be getting with Divi. So, yeah, so that was the biggest news for the day. Now, let's go over the rest of the stuff. Let's start with Nick. What has he been tweeting? Well, if this made your heart jump, you have way too much money on exchanges and need to withdraw now. <laughs> but this is regards to Binance, deposits of USD on Seoul and USDT on Seoul have been temporarily suspended until further notice. So, yeah, if you guys' heart jump, you do have too much money on the exchanges. And also, are you just not paying attention to what's going on with Seoul? They were like shut down or their blockchain shut down for like 10 times, 11, I don't know, I lost count over the past year. That's right, last year. So, it didn't make my heart jump, but if it did, you guys probably do a little bit more research and truly understand the not your keys, not your coins. But yeah, so that was that. And then let's see, decentralization is the only form of effective altruism. So those were our tweets from Nick Sapinera today. And then let's see what else is going on. Uh, Divi Wallace is trying to teach us something about finance. Did you know what monetary inflation stands for? Well, it stands for the sustained increase in the money supply of a currency controlled by a central entity or institution. The result is more money in circulation. Finance 101, they had a poll a couple days ago on what is it. And I guess 78% knew what it was. 21% thought it was just higher prices. But yeah, Dibby Wallet always keeping us educated, teaching us a little bit of things. They also had a little one on, uh, what was it, self-custody? Where was that guy? Uh, do, do, do. Here we go. Let's talk about custody. So if you haven't followed this thread, you really should because tons of great information in there. What happened to FTX and why we should be self-custodial and not trust any third parties. And then let's see. Uh, also, guys, we are T-minus 24 hours or technically less than 24 hours until the Divi Twitter spaces. It's going to be on self-custody, Divi DeFi, and we're going to have the Divi crew and the CINO, Joshua Caleb, there. So, woo, so if you have any questions on the Divi DeFi, he is the one you want to talk to. So be here, set your reminder. It's going to be 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's see, I have three more hours, so, and it'll be 2 o'clock uh, Eastern. I believe that's right. I hope it is. <laughs> but yeah, join on in, guys. It's going to be a great Twitter spaces. And then because also sometimes it may just be funky and not get recorded. So you really want to be there and listen to it live. And then on the Discord channel, Captain Nemo got some new swag out there. A little funny one called Love Divi DeFi Centralized Exchange. And everyone's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, we love centralized exchanges. <laughs> but no, Nick was also chiming in there. No, he's trying to say DeFi sex, but need punctuations to make it clearer. <laughs> and then let's see, Captain Nemo was like, correct, play on words, maybe too subtle. Hmm, I could put an X in circle over the centralized exchange, just meaning we do not like centralized exchanges. 
Mr. Greeny Sr. is like, there's no such thing as a safe central centralized exchange, and which is pretty true. We always say, never keep your coins on them. <laughs> the voice was like, can I steal it? He did have a tweet on there, but I guess Sean Murphy had it right before him, and he did it anyways. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for the Discord channel going on there. Uh, not much else talk going on. Just people were really stoked on the Grog on Crypto interview. Share it in as many threads as you can outside of the Divi Discord channel, uh, Reddit. Just get the Divi information out there. So, yeah. And let's see, uh, that's about it. Divi's price right now is at 0.012 cents. I am now taking the price on CoinGecko since coin market cap's not really accurate. Uh, mark, uh, let's see, market cap is at $38.5 million and trading volume is at 152000 Current market cap rank is number 430. And here's that day chart where, yeah, we're just bouncing sideways a little low right now, but you know, it's going to probably go back up. And total master nodes is 2,060, so that's the same as yesterday, so love it. And if you haven't downloaded the official regional crypto wallet of La Liga yet, there's a link down below to the DiviWallet.com page. I'll take you here, and you can download it from the Apple Store or Google Play. It's that simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If so, hit that thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, Crypto Sherpa is out.